Hey guys, welcome to another video. So in this video, I'll be talking about the bugs and the features of SendUI 5.0 Borat Storm. So let's start with the bugs. First bug, it's not, it's it's actually not a bug. FTFS is not supported as yet. So if you have FTFS enabled earlier, so you had to change it before installing this ROM or it won't boot. Sorry about that. It he might fix it in the next builds. I don't know. And the auto rotate. Auto rotate is kind of buggy. You know, it's I have it turned off mostly because it it will rotate even though if you didn't even tilt the phone slightly, and it might not rotate at some points where you are actually using in landscape. It's uh, I don't know. I, I'm not completely satisfied with the auto rotate. And the another top problem is. There might be performance issues or lag issues, but you can actually easily fix it. So you can just go into Borat Storm settings and go into Borat Storm settings root access. You can change the SCLinux mod to permissive and reboot the phone. That'll actually fix it. That's the bugs, actually. Let's talk about the features. So Vaulty, it's working fine. I'm using a GeoSim. And I'm using a GeoSim, 04G. Everything's working fine. The calls, the net, the data. Sorry, in the messages, everything's working fine. And face unlock, fingerprint unlock, that's also working fine. I've been using, I have registered two fingerprints and one face, and I've been using it from the startup of this device, it's working fine. And Google Pay, Google Pay is working fine. I have uh, Google Pay is pre-installed in this, uh, in this Chrome. So, to, but to enable Google Pay, you have to go into Bordstrom settings, Bordstrom settings root as required, and turn on the Google Pay patch. <clears throat> And Gcam is also working. I have a Google camera installed. And the other feature is that you have theme support. Senui actually has theme support. I have downloaded some themes and there's a full store for themes here. And you can even download wallpapers. I have downloaded some themes. Uh, for example, let me apply this theme called Doomsday here. As you can see, it changes the icons, the lock screen, the wallpaper, the system apps actually. And this ROM has an inbuilt app lock feature. To access the app lock feature, you have to <coughs> press and hold on the home screen, go into preferences. There you have app lock. You can use a pattern, pin, face, or fingerprint to access your locks. You can also you can also hide your apps. That's pretty good actually. And PUBG. I know there's a lot of gamers out there. PUBG works on medium by default, but you can change it to HD high, and that works fine. And the other feature is this navigation feature I've been using. It's actually pretty good. I really like it. You can go into display and the navigation bar, navigation bar types. Uh, one, you have the swipe up on home button, like in stock Android or the traditional navigation bar, or you can go to the navigation just yes. So in the navigation just yes, you can swipe from the left to go back, from the center to go home, and from the right to access the recent apps. So that's pretty cool. And uh, there's also a pretty handy feature to take screenshots. You can actually press and hold the recent apps button to take a screenshot. So that's pretty good. I've been using it. And another feature I've been using is the one hand mode. To access the one hand mode, you can actually double press on the home button. As you can see, I'm on one hand mode right now. So for people with small hands, it's, it's pretty handy. To exit, it, you can click on the top left icon that's says like full screen. Yeah, that's it. And there's another feature here. Uh, in Bordet Storm settings, Bordet Storm settings no root. You can see there's a fingerprint unlock after restart device. So uh, by default, when you restart the device, it asks for a pattern or pin or whatever lock you set up. But uh, you can change it to just fingerprint uh, by enabling that feature. Uh, Zen UI also has this twin apps feature. Uh, you can actually also twin games like PUBG Mobile. So that's pretty handy for uh, like two siblings playing in one phone. You can have two accounts on the same phone. That's actually really good. It's really helpful. You have this wallpaper slideshow feature that changes wallpaper every time you look at the lock screen. Uh, I'm not using it, but it's kind of cool. 
then you have send motion in built into it it's working fine this game genie it's not a game booster it's actually a game streamer it helps you to connect to twitch or youtube accounts and stream whatever game you're playing and the, the ai features is smart screen on ai ringtone ai ringtone is actually it can adjust the ringtone based on the sound levels that's actually cool so if you're at a funeral or something so there's if there's no sound near you the ringtone will be slightly lower than usual and if there's too much sound you're in the sub page it'll be higher it's kind of helpful actually i don't yeah and there's optiflex optiflex actually enables uh, cons conserves the power and improves the performance so that's good and talking about the battery life i charged this phone to 98 percent yesterday at eight o'clock now i'm sitting at 41 percent and i've used five hours 38 minutes of screen time that's good and the battery is really amazing in this phone the standby time is pretty amazing too. I didn't lose it. I lost like one, two percent days overnight yesterday. Uh, and I'm on this stock kernel. I have not flashed custom kernels as yet. This kernel has served me well. So I haven't used another custom kernel for this one. So that's that, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Peace.